Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cinefessions, where we talk all things media. And I am giddy with excitement because it is officially Criterion season at Barnes and Noble and Amazon because they're price matching basically everything as well. But it is only day two of the sale as of filming and I already have a stack over here that is much too big, but that's just what happens in the month of July as this sale kicks into action. So let's not waste any time at all. Let's dive right in to my Barnes and Noble Criterion Collection haul. All right, so I'll start off with the Blu-rays and then I'll hit the 4Ks I grabbed and I'll go in spine number order. So first up is spine number 214 with the Dan, I'm sorry, All That Money Can Buy, formerly known or also known as The Devil in Daniel Webster. So this is a 1941 film and it it's going to lean towards the horror genre, which is really the reason I wanted to get it. But I guess we are following this farmer who is down on his luck. So he ends up selling his soul to the devil and instantly regrets it. And so he brings in this, I guess, Daniel Webster, who is a politician in order to help correct the situation. So sounds ridiculous, but it, it's going to be fun, I'm sure. And it slants horror. So it's absolutely something I need for the collection. This one was originally released only on DVD. So this is a cool upgrade here to Blu-ray. And unfortunately, no 4K on this one. So that's why I grabbed the Blu-ray. So this is spine number 214, All That Money Can Buy, also known as The Devil and Daniel Webster from 1941. The only other Blu-ray I grabbed is a new release here. This is spine number 1218. And this is a newer film from 2023. We have Anatomy of a Fall. So this again only has a Blu-ray release, no no 4K on this, but I watched a review from uh, the 20th and 21st movies and he really recommended this one. So that's why I added this one to the list. I will link his channel down below. He's awesome, highly recommend him. Uh, he, he does a ton of Criterion Collection stuff. So this is the month to watch his channel if nothing else. Uh, but yeah, this one looks very interesting. It looks like it is more crime based than anything else which is why I really want to see it. It's, was it a suicide? Was it a murder? What's going to happen? Cannot wait to check this one out. Her great things. This is Anatomy of a Fall from 2023, spine number 1218. So there are five left in today's haul and they're all 4K titles from here on out. So the first one is a very low spine number, spine number 58. And it's a DVD I almost purchased for more than I should have just a couple months ago because I loved this movie. This is Peeping Tom from 1960, and this is an excellent movie. If you have not seen this, I cannot recommend it enough. I cannot wait to see what Criterion has done with this 4K of this because this movie looked amazing when I watched it on Tubi. So yeah, if you haven't seen it, check out Tubi. It's on there and it looks awesome. And so if you don't want to spend the 25 bucks or 50 if it's not on sale uh, for this one right away, definitely uh, stream it first. But yeah, this was... This is really the like uh, the beginning of the slasher genre. So much of what we know from slasher films from, you know, Halloween on really start in this film. You can definitely see this uh, DNA in the slasher genre moving uh, forward past it. I loved this movie and this was one that I knew was going to be a day one purchase once the sale hit. So if you're a fan of the slasher genre and horror films in general or just great movies, period. I highly recommend Peeping Tom way ahead of its time and something that I cannot wait to revisit on 4K. This is spine number 58 from 1960. We have Peeping Tom. I'm a little disappointed right now because I just noticed that this is quite damaged. So this one will be replaced tomorrow uh, once I get back to Barnes & Noble. But this is spine number 1133, another newer film. This one from 2017. We have Okia. I really have no idea how to say this, and I'm just realizing it right now. I really should have looked that up before I started, but you guys can see the title right there. So this is one I needed for my Jake Gyllenhaal collection because he's one of my favorite actors, and I'm trying to collect all of his stuff on you know physical media. But I watched the trailer for this one finally, and it looks fascinating. I guess there are these, like, I forget what they are. They're a pig 
and something else hybrid, but they're like giant creatures. And it's this story of this one that uh, this this little girl loves. It gets taken away, and they're trying to get it back. Is how I was kind of getting from the uh, from the trailer. Looks really interesting. This is actually a Netflix film, but you can see on the back here. Not only is it opened a little bit, but you can see on the top it is damaged. So. These are not cases I have replacements of, and they cost money through Criterion, so this is absolutely going back tomorrow now that I've found that out. But I actually, I, I ended up doing an in-store pickup order because whenever I get done with work, when the first day of the sale hits, I get there and the place is empty. And so that's why I decided to do it this way. So I'm gonna have to return this one now, which is disappointing, but yeah, this looks awesome. An excellent director on this one, of course, the uh, director of Parasite, one of the greatest films of in recent years. So cannot wait to check this out. This is spine number 1,133 from 2017. We have Okia, or however you say it, let me know down below. Next up is spine number 1207, and this is actually a double feature that I just discovered that I wanted because it looks awesome. This one is The Heroic Trio and Executioners. So both of these are from 1993. Heroic Trios is, or Heroic Trio is the original with Executioners being the sequel. So this one looks like it is almost a like super a superhero action type film mixed in with martial arts and a noir cityscape, it says on the back here. So I am super interested to see what this is all about. But yeah, it has Michelle Yeoh in it as well, who's excellent. So this should be awesome. I cannot wait to see this one. I will make note though, if you're interested, this one is a little bit pricier at 60 versus 50. So it's gonna be $30 in the sale as a set of 25, but you get two films on 4K. I imagine it's gonna be well worth it. So yeah, very excited to check these out. I've heard great things about this. We have the Heroic Trio and Executioners double feature on 4K, spine number 1207 from 1993. This next one is one I talked about in my anticipated releases video a few months ago now, but I knew I was gonna grab it, but of course I was waiting for this sale. This is spine number 1213. We have To Die For, starring Nicole Kidman in a Gus Van Zant film. So this one looks fascinating to me because it's supposed to be a uh, kind of a commentary on the media obsessed, true crime obsessed culture of the mid nineties. This one takes, uh, is filmed, or I'm sorry, this one is from 1995. Like I need to see this. I am also true crime obsessed. And so I, that's why this is super fascinating. I guess Nicole pl uh, Kidman plays a, uh, she's like a girl next door TV reporter, but there's a murderous side to her as well. So I just, I have to see this. Cannot wait to check this out. Frankly, I haven't even really heard too much about this, but it just, I mean, it's right up my alley. Absolutely one that was getting added to the collection. So from 1995, spine number 1215, no, I'm sorry, 1213, we have to, to Die For. And last but not least for today's video, we have spine number 1220, and I just talked about this one in my most recent anticipated releases video, Bound. This is from 1996, and it is by the Wachowskis. So of course, who went on to do the Matrix films. I've heard great things about this when I talked about it in my anticipated releases video. The comments were saying great things about this. I cannot wait to see this one. We have, of course, Jennifer Tilly in this, and I've only heard amazing things about Bound over the years, so I am so excited to check this one out finally. So this one is actually about a heist between these characters, and I think things are just gonna kind of go awry from there, but like I said, have only heard amazing things. So this was a must buy this month. Cannot wait to check out Bound from the Wachowskis. And this is again, 1996, spine number 1,220. All right, so that is my initial stack of seven. And frankly, I think this will be the only uh, separate haul video I do for this sale, simply because I don't think I'm gonna pick up a whole lot more. Now, mind you, I say that virtually every single year, but I grab pretty much everything I want that's available right now. The only other two that I know I'm getting this month, I uh, talk, will talk about in my upcoming uh, anticipated releases video that should come out Tuesday, but Risky Business, I'm definitely grabbing on 4K, and then Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, I think it's called. That one is another one, the Sam Peckinpah film. I'm absolutely gonna pick up this month, but 
Outside of that, I really don't know. My mom usually likes to get me the uh, movies for my birthday gift, and so maybe we'll end up going there and I'll find something more. I do have a $10 off coupon that I can use, so I'll use that towards uh, probably Pat Garrett when I go this week. But yeah, that's what I've grabbed so far. And let me also mention, I was super impressed with my Barnes & Noble because my daughter and I went there after work, and though it's usually emptied out and it was condensed down last year to kind of one shelf, they redid it all and they expanded it once again to fill the back wall. And so it was awesome seeing it just loaded with things with from the Criterion Collection. So I loved that. Definitely excited to go check out the store by my mom's house at some point because they also have just a huge selection of Criterion films. So yeah, good month. This is my favorite month of the year for multiple reasons, and this sale is one of those. So anyway, let me know down in the comments below, what did you pick up or what are you planning to grab, if anything, from the Barnes & Noble Criterion Collection sale? Are you just going to do it online and maybe hit up Amazon? Also, uh, an option since they're doing price matching. But yeah, let me know what you guys are grabbing and what you think of my haul here today. And I appreciate any and all comments down there. So thank you so much for all that support. Before you go, if you could just hit that like button down there, that engagement really does help me out. But with that said, guys, thank you again for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. And before you go, I just want to encourage you all to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time.